Welcome back to Clover Tack, guys. Uh, exciting day today for me. Uh, for those of you that are followers of the channel, you know my obsession with Browning Buckmark pistols. For those of you that are new to the channel, I am obsessed with Buckmark pistols. So, I uh, was able to pick up the Browning Buckmark carbine rifle today. As you can see, it is basically a Browning pistol with a long barrel and a buttstock. So I'm really excited uh, to pick this one up. Uh, it is an awesome little rifle. I've already shot it a little bit so far. Want to do a video today and actually put it up against the uh, little custom 1022 that I have and uh, see how well it does, see if it holds its own. Uh, just getting out and shooting it. Uh, it seems like a really, really good shooter, but uh, it's nice to put it up against a, another rifle. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to go to the bench first. We're going to shoot it at a, a target and uh, see what type of group we get from the bench with the uh, little buckmark carbine here uh, as compared with, to that uh, custom 1022. And then we'll have a little fun uh, and we'll uh, shoot some... Uh, little uh, round steel targets and we're going to be doing this today at 50 yards so let me go get the targets uh, hung and we'll get started so this is the target we're going to be shooting today and our custom 1022 we're going to be shooting on the left side and with the browning bookmark carbine we're going to be shooting at the right side We've got our target down range, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to put five honest shots from the custom 1022 on target, uh, then swap rifles, attempt to get five honest shots with the Browning Buckmark carbine.
Okay, that was interesting. Okay, on each target here, my point of aim was the center. Uh, I had a flyer, really probably had two. Uh, Washer was trying to do the best shooting that I could. But even with this little three shot group here, which is probably what that custom 1022 is plenty capable of. Uh, look over here at the Buckmark, uh, at the Browning Buckmark carbine, and uh, that's what I was thinking. I knew it was a, a very accurate rifle. Um, of course, ammo comes into play as well. I know that with the uh, Custom 1022, it does really good with match ammo, match rifle ammo. Uh, the group certainly would have tightened up with something like that. Uh, what we were shooting today was just the uh, bulk 325 round Federal Auto Match. So what we're going to do now is uh, let's have a little bit of fun. Well now that we've got the steel targets up, let's have a little fun. Not bad. All right, sorry about that, guys. Had to change the camera angle. The sun's uh, moving on us and getting in front of the camera. I'm sure you've noticed that uh, through a couple of shots in the video. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shoot the uh, Custom 1022 at the steel. And, uh, even though she didn't do as well against the buck mark off of the bench rest, she's always done silhouettes and still pretty good. Got no reason to think she'll let me down. Of course she did. All right, guys. So we've had uh, some fun today. We've compared a couple of rifles here. Um, you know, got to keep into account the variables. As you can see on the steel, they both performed pretty much equally, um, but they're not at all equal. Uh, the weight on this custom 1022 is lighter than the buck mark. The length of pull is longer than the buck mark. Um, we got a Sturka uh, nine by, I mean, uh, excuse me, a four and a half to a 14 on the uh, uh, custom 1022. And we got a Hawk, I believe it's a three by nine. Yeah, it is three by nine on the buck mark. Uh, that was just a scope I had laying around and, and threw on there. It's six in one hand, half a dozen in the other as far as I'm concerned. Uh, both of those groups, uh, if you count out the, uh, the flyer, if you look at the, the three shots on the, on the 1022 anyway, uh, are under an inch at 50 yards. Both shot the silhouettes well at 50 yards. Um, the custom 1022 does do better with, uh, with match uh, rifle ammo, particularly Ellie match. Uh, had I been using that uh, against this buck mark, probably would have gotten better groups. It would have been uh, closer. But the buck mark was heavier, so sitting in the rest was weighted a little more. Uh, no matter how much you work on the, the trigger on the, the Ruger, 
without going with an aftermarket tr market trigger. Uh, not going to be as good. The stock trigger on those Brownings are awesome. So, if you get a chance to pick one of these up, do it. Uh, they're an awesome little rifle. The uh, length of pull, like I mentioned, is, is short. Uh, so for a kid, other than the weight on this particular model, uh, for a kid they would work out well. The uh, weight can be remedied if you pick up a sporter model. This is actually a target model with a heavier barrel. You can get a sporter model that is a thinner barrel with open sights. Um, myself, I prefer, uh, prefer the target barrel. Never shot the sporter, honestly. But uh, I've got to think that it's probably not quite as accurate, uh, especially when you start moving out to uh, 50 yards, you know, 100 yards, and you're getting on out. Probably not going to be quite as accurate as, uh, as the heavy barrel is. Well, thank you for joining us today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully that you learned maybe a few things about the uh, Buckmark carbine, which you didn't already know. Uh, got to experience, see it in action. Maybe if you were thinking about uh, purchasing one, uh, this video helped you uh, make that decision. Before you leave today, we would uh, like to invite you to like the video and subscribe. You can also check out Clover Tack on East Texas Outdoor Network, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, until next time, have fun on the range, guys, and be safe.